Hello, I'm Janelle Shala, and in this video I'm discussing a variety of Colombian quartz, which is exquisitely clear, almost as clear, well, probably as clear or clearer than silver quartz that was being mined in Brazil a few years ago. Um, it's being marketed as blades of light. Now you can see this from this short squat sort of crystal that they are incredibly clear. There are no gas bubbles, there are no inclusions, it's just like glass, it's so clear. There's a lot of striation on the sides which many people will associate with gathered information, sort of like a, uh, like a tape recorder, gathering information that we can then access through the crystal. The short fat ones have a quality of detachment similar to Tibetan quartz and unlike a lot of the South American quartzes which tend to be very happy and in your face, this sense of detachment which allows you to stand back and assess the situation. I'll show you another example of this same quartz. You can see from this larger example how incredibly clear it is and that it breaks up, it prisms and breaks up the light, so white light going into it starts breaking up and coming out as rainbows. Really stunning, really good for collectors, but I just feel this is a really important crystal to work with as well. The detachment, this quality of detachment allows you to stand back, it clears your mind and it helps you to see the way forward, even helping you to find your life path. The crystals from both localities are purported to um, be very, very healing on a physical level. The miners apparently never get ill who are mining these, these quartzes. That is at least what I've read. I have not spoken directly to the miners, so I'm not going to claim anything. But uh, this is what is being said, that they, the people working with them never get illness. Here's an example of a long, thin crystal from the other locality. They, these crystals form larger than this, and in a larger size, they would make a very good control crystal, you know, the, the overseer crystal that you use to direct everything that you do. Again, these have a lot of striation and a lot of held information. But in addition, these are much friendlier. And I don't see anything wrong, I mean, the, the little short squat ones that aren't very, don't feel immediately friendly. It doesn't mean they don't want to work with you, it's just this kind of sense of detachment and not getting immediately drawn in, but standing back and assessment, assessing the situation. Where these feel like, oh yeah, I'll come home with you, I'll be your mate, I want to come home with you and be your friend. So it's very hard to tell which one you want to work with of those, <laughs> because they all want to come home with you. These form some clusters, and the clusters are exquisitely beautiful. Here's a cross quartz, where you get the, the quartz crystals crossing at right angles. That's meant to be for clearing and protection, but very beautiful if you just want a collector's piece. One of the other things I find about this quartz in a very similar way to the quartz that we, get, we were getting from the from sorry, from Brazil, from the mine in Brazil that we called silver quartz. Very similar, these seem to raise our own vibrations so that we are lifted higher up. We're more able to attune with the higher energies that are coming in. Very lovely for working with that, really nice, really good way of sort of bringing yourself up. I'm not quite sure how to describe it, but just feeling like you're not not out of whack with what's going on around you. And finally, I'm going to show you another crystal cluster with very large crystals. This is absolutely exquisite. It's a divine piece. Obviously, you're paying for it because these are very expensive, but really worth having, even if it's just a small piece that you can get hold of. I really highly recommend getting some of this to work with.